Hey there! In this video, we'll create a quick and simple to do web application using the ABP framework. So for this video, we'll use Angular as the UI framework and Entity Framework Core as the database provider. I'll be going through this documentation and let's see how it's going to look. So this is how it's going to look. We have a very simple to do list application right here. And we can type in, for example, buy some milk, drink some water, stay hydrated everybody. And we could also say water the plants. So we can add to do items, we can get the list, and we could also delete items from the list. This is how it's gonna look, and let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is install the ABP CLI. I'm gonna copy this command from here, and I'm gonna open a terminal right here, and I'm gonna paste in the command. As you can see, it's already installed. And next, I'm gonna copy this command to create the new solution. So first I'm going to go to my folder of tutorials and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it the same as our solution and I'll go to it. And right here I'm going to paste the command. So ABP new to do app and the UI framework is going to be Angular. And Entity Framework Core is there by default. Now, since it opened this page, it means our solution has been created. Let's take a look at it. So we have two folders right here, the ASP.NET Core folder and the Angular folder. I'm gonna open this one and I'm gonna open the solution. And we have our domain-driven design solution right here. And let's run the DB migrator to create the database and see the initial data in order to take a little look at our solution before we start working. Next up, I'm gonna run the HTTP API host, and that'll open the Swagger UI so we can test our endpoints right here and make sure they're working and everything before we run the UI. So since it's up and running, I'm gonna go to the Angular folder, and I'm gonna open a command prompt here, and I'm gonna run the UI with npm start. Everything I'm doing is according to the documentation. So I'm right here right now. So npm start. And here's our web app. Let's log in. So this is how it initially looks. We have an administration section right here with identity management with both roles and users. And we also have a tenant management where you're going to have a whole other tenant with the same identity management for both roles and users. Or you can just use your own tenant, which is the administration from here. And we also have our app settings. So let's stop running the solution and get to work. So the first thing we'll work with is the domain layer. This application has a single entity and we'll start by creating it. Let's create a new to-do item class inside the to-do app domain project. So I'm going to copy this and I'll find the domain project right here and I'm going to add a new class to-do item. And I'll paste the code right here. It'll inherit from basic aggregate root and GUID is the primary key. And next up is the database integration. We're going to set up Entity Framework Core configuration. We're going to find the to do app DB context inside Entity Framework Core, and we're going to add the DB set property in there. So let's find the Entity Framework Core project, Entity Framework Core folder, and the to do app DB context right here. And we're going to add our DB set properties right here. Next up, we need to add the mapping code inside the all model creating method. So I'm just going to copy this piece of code right here, and I'm going to find the all model creating method in the same class. It's right here, and we're going to add the code right here. And by this, we've mapped the to do item entity to the to do items table in the database. After adding the DB set, we need to add a migration. So I'm going to copy this one, and I'm going to navigate to entity framework core. And I'm going to open a command prompt right here. And I'm going to paste the command right here. I'm 
I'll also update the database. And now since we're done, if we take a look at the migration folder, we can find our migration right here and here is our table. And next up, it's the application layer. An application service is used to perform the use cases of the application. And we need to perform the following use cases. We need to get the list of the to-do items. We need to create a new to-do item. And of course, we need to delete an existing to-do item. Same as we did in the first example. And first of all, let's define the interface. We're going to create a new iToDo app service interface in the to-do app application contracts. So I'm going to copy this from here. And I'm going to find our application contracts and I'm going to create a new interface right here. iToDo app service. And I'll paste the code right here. As you can see, the get list async and the create async methods will be returning a to-do item DTO. So let's create this class as well. After creating it right here, I'm going to copy its code from here and I'm just going to paste it right here. It's just a very simple to-do class that matches our to-do item entity. And now we're ready to implement the interface. Let's implement the application service. I'm going to create a to-do app service class inside the to-do app application project. And I'm going to copy the code from here. And here is our application project. And here is a new class, to do app service. And I'll paste the code right here. So it inherits from the application service class, which is provided by the ABP framework, and it'll help us implement those use cases, the getting the to-do items and creating a new to-do item and removing a to-do item. And it also implements our interface. And so let's implement the interface. I'm gonna copy the first method, the getting a to-do item from here, and I'll paste it right here. And I'm going to copy the second method, the creating a new to-do item. And I'll paste it right here. And last, I'm going to copy a deleting a to-do item. And I'll paste it right here. Now, ABP provides default generic repositories, and we've used one right here. We've injected the R repository, which is the default repository for the to-do item entity. And then we've used its methods right here. We've used the get list async insert async and delete async. So these are all standard repository methods to deal with the database. And now since we've implemented the interface, the application service is ready to be used from the UI layer. ABP provides a handy feature to automatically create client-side services to easily consume the HTTP APIs provided by the server. But first, we need to run the HTTP API host project since the proxy generator reads the API definitions from the server application. So, we're just gonna run it from here. And once it's running, we're gonna open a command line terminal in the Angular folder and type this command. So I'll go right here and I'm gonna open a terminal and I'll paste in the command. Just hit enter. And it gave us the same output that we're looking for. And now let's use the to-do service to use the server-side HTTP APIs. I've opened our to-do app solution from VS Code. So I'm gonna open the Angular folder and I'm gonna find the source, app, home, and I'm gonna find the home component TypeScript file. I'm gonna copy this. And it's right here. I'm just gonna replace it right here. So we've used the to-do service to get the list of the to-do items and assign the returning values to the to-do items array. And we've also added the create and delete methods and these methods will be used on the view side. Next, I'm gonna copy the home component HTML file. And I'll find it right here. And I'm just gonna replace the code. And finally, I'm just gonna copy the styling code. And I'll find it right here, the home component scss file. And I'm just gonna replace it right here and don't forget to save. And now I'm guessing we're good to go. Let's run our solution.
And now we have our solution right here. Let's try it out. Water the plants. Uh, stay hydrated. And clean the balcony, for example. So we can add, we can get the list, and we can also delete our to-do items. And that is how to create a to-do app web application using Angular and Entity Framework Core. See you next time.